Hey, what's going on, bladers of the Krosama? So here I have the BX25 carrying case for the Beyblade X series. So something to note is that this is gonna retail at 4,000 yen. That's going to equate to about $32. But I found this, since I live in Japan, uh, found this for 3,200 yen and about $27, $26. So with that price in mind, it's really not that bad. It's really, really good for such an affordable case. Now the case itself is gonna have a nice matte finish and it really feels premium for you know, what you're paying for. So I, I honestly would have thought this is more of like a 6,000 kind of range of case, but being 4,000, I honestly think you're really getting a good quality case for that much money. Now when you open up the inside, you will be getting some foam inserts. These can be removed, so if you do want to like change them out for something else or make your own little inserts, you can obviously uh, take them out and just do whatever you want with them. Now these are gonna be for your bays, obviously. You can either just take the bits off and you know keep just the ratchet and the blade in there, but you, know, you can keep the bits on there and that's fine. And now here on the side, you're gonna have six slots. That way you can go ahead and put some of these bits right here as just extra backups. For this little slot right up here, this is for your little string launcher. So you can basically just put that right in there. It doesn't really hold it very firmly, so it's kind of relying on gravity. But yeah, you can put your uh, string launcher right in here. And then here's going to be your battle pass. So you can just plop this right in here. And this one is actually going to be able to hold very well and very firm. And you do get a little slit right here that you can just kind of plop in uh, whatever other extra items you have. So if you do have other you know, extra bays, if you have some accessories, get put in there and you'll be able to close the case with no issues. So I'm not trying to drag this video on just for a case. I don't really need a 10 to 20 minute video. Uh, really just short and sweet. It's a really nice case. I think it's really good if you don't have something already or if you do want a more compact case then maybe you're you know, you've had like a little briefcase or something that you've been bringing around this is a good option but for the u.s or pretty much anywhere outside of japan i can only assume that you're going to be paying either 40 usd or you're going to be paying much higher um that that's just my assumption because Obviously, a lot of these companies, these uh, third-party com companies, they're importing and they're probably gonna be charging a little bit to the one-to-one -one rates. Uh, so if it's 4,000 yen, they're probably charging you $40 or more. Um, but if you are gonna find it for less than $40, I think it is worth picking up and just you know putting all your bays in here and bringing it around if you don't have something already for your Beyblade X collection. But yeah, this is something that's just like, it should have came out pretty much right when the series just now started um, back in July. That would have been really amazing, but hey, better late than never. So yeah, if you don't have anything, this is good. If you want to you know, have something as a gift to someone that wants to get into Beyblades, this is a good accessory just for them to get started and carry all their bays with them. But that's all from me, guys. So thank you all for watching. And if you can, let me know in the comment section below if you plan on getting this case or if you're not. And let me know why you wouldn't get it. But other than that, thank you all for watching. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.